Okay, so we haven't been taught a lot about presentation media. Now, presentation media is anything to help highlight, clarify, compliment your presentation. See, the purpose is the presentation is on you. You've analyzed the audience. You've, you have the skills. You have everything. You do not want to take the focus off you. So what is presentation media? Is anything. A presentation media can be a song. It could be a picture. So you're trying to show a picture of, I don't know, a blue-footed booby. Well, that could be presentation media because we want the audiences to understand. Now, people think that we have to put a hundred words in there. No, mm. you need to let it go. Mm. You need to let it go. Mm. Need to let it go. Mm. Ah, ta -da, ah, ta -da, no, no. When you're doing presentation media, when you have to use words for presentations, follow the six by six rule. The six by six rule says six lines, six words per line maximum. You got to think about this. If you have too much information, you're going to be tempted to read it. As punishment, the British imposed laws known as the Intolerable Acts, including the Quartering Act, which made Americans let British soldiers live in their homes. Some of the American colonies created a Declaration of Rights and Grievances, which they sent to Britain, but the British just sent soldiers to the colonies to put down... No! That's not presentation media. That's you reading it. And if you're going to read it, you know, I'd as well just do a video, send it to them, so they can fast forward through that shit. So they can move on, because they're not, they're gone. They're going to be an angry birds. So, think about what we can do to enhance it, to, to highlight, clarify, compliment. So, let's look at a couple of pictures. Here's, here's one that's kind of, eh, look, it's pixelated. You know, it's, it's, it's a small whatever, you know, it's, it's a small picture, and when you blow it up, because think about it, if you're really good, you're going to be doing this presentation in front of thousands of people. It'll be up on the big screen like you're at a, like you're at a, a rock concert. This little picture that you have right here, what's going to happen? It's going to, and it's going to be ugly. So as you're doing this, try and get a high-resolution photo of the same thing or similar. And see the difference between the two? Now, we always think about music or sound. The, the, the problem with audio, let, let's listen to this clip right here. Yesterday, December 7th, 1941. What do y'all think? Right? It's pretty scratchy. And so this audio is from, you know, the, the early 1900s. Oh, wait, it's, it's the, we're going to declare war on Japan and, you know, December 7th, 1941, right? It doesn't really work too good because it's really scratchy versus something today. When I can't feel a thing, you say I am strong. When I think I'm weak. Okay, that was music, but it's still the same concept. See the difference in the clarity? And those are things we do. So we have pictures, we have, we, 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 we have, we have audio, we have video. Now, the problem with video is that some people forget to, to cue it, which means the person up the ground, um, um, uh, uh, let me, let me. So if you're going to use video, make sure you have it edited for time. And it should be no more than 20 seconds, maybe 30 seconds, depending on the length of your speech, but no more than 30 seconds for sure. Because the focus is what? On the vid on the presentation media, not you. And when that takes over, you have lost the audience. Remember, highlight, clarify, compliment you, the speaker, and the presentation, not the media does the speaking for you. And when you can do those things, you'll become a much better speaker. All right? Love you. Bye.